just won't get it. Hey guys, it's Josie. Welcome to my channel. As you can see, I have not been taking much care of my hair these past couple of days and I've been really busy, but today I'm tired of neglecting my hair, so I'm going to show you how I transform this into... Stay tuned, I gotta work some magic on this thing. Look at this. Look at this dryness. So I start off by spritzing my hair with water. It doesn't have to be soaking wet, but it does have to be moisturized enough so that I don't feel any dryness. And I do this section by section. So I ran out of conditioner, but usually for this step, I use conditioner. Right now I'm using a mask only because my conditioner ran out. But the mask is very moisturizing, so it's just the same. Then I start to finger detangle. The conditioner or a mask, whatever you're using, makes it so much easier. And it's not difficult at all because the hair is already nice and soft. To make sure it's fully detangled, I run my fingers through it from root to tip. Here we go. If my fingers get caught in my hair, that's how I know I need to go back and detangle it some more. I then apply a generous amount of oil, and this day I used coconut oil. On this day, I use my Camille Rose Curl Maker just to twist up my hair. You can use shea butter or any type of cream you want. Then all there's left to do is twist. Finger detangling does take some patience and you have to get used to it. I know a lot of us are just used to using a wide tooth comb to detangle our hair, but finger detangling is safer and results in less breakage. For me, using a comb sometimes can be painful, so finger detangling is like a gentler process. I recently trimmed my hair and I found that finger detangling has gotten so much easier for me. So if you feel like finger detangling it just isn't working and your hair is just so tangly, maybe you need a trim because you have a lot of split ends. I twisted my hair in large sections, not for a twist up, but just because I wanted to detangle it for a different hairstyle. 
So if I feel like it's too big of a section and it won't hold, I go back and do smaller twists. And then I'm done. My hair is nice and detangled and I did it all without a comb.